Today we are going to make a really refreshing dal or kutu using ridge gourd. To know how to make it, stay tuned. Now this is ridge gourd. I have used one medium sized ridge gourd in this recipe. I have peeled it. Now this peel is not thrown away. You can make a really interesting recipe using the peel. Now the vegetable inside, I have just chopped it up uh, you know, into medium sized pieces. And now we are going to cook the recipe. This recipe will be mainly made in the cooker. So first we'll switch on the flame here. And I'm going to add water, chopped ridge gourd. And I'm using moong dal in this recipe, which I've soaked in water. Now moong dal cooks really fast. If you want, you can also make it with a combination of tur dal and moong dal, but it tastes superb with moong dal. I will add some turmeric, a little bit of salt. We'll give this a mix. Chopped green chili and very little ginger while pressure cooking. Now this is optional, you can add this later, but just for flavor, adding this. Now let's give this around 3 to 4 whistles. Now post 3 to 4 whistles, this is how it looks. Nice and mashed. And Ridge God doesn't take a lot of time uh, to cook. So now that this process is over, let's quickly make the tempering for this. Let's switch our kadai. I'm going to add some oil. Around 2 teaspoons. 3 teaspoons. Once this heats up, we'll add our mustard seeds. Let's add mustard seeds. Now that our mustard seeds are crackling, let's add some dried red chilli, a little bit of cumin seeds, ginger, green chilli and last but not the least some crushed curry leaves. Give this a mix. You can see very little oil, not high on calories, rich in protein. And once this happens, I am going to add the cooked dal. Give this one quick mix and if you feel that it's become very thick, you can thin it down a little but for me this texture is perfect. As you can see there are no masalas in this, there's no chilli powder or dhania powder or any other powder in this. It's going to get a nice flavour just because of you know the green chilli, the ginger, the mild flavour of the ridge gourd. Now I'm going to add some hing which has been uh, dissolved in water. This is fresh hing water. You can use hing powder. And I'm going to add very little salt because I know it needs salt. Just mix this well. Give this one last simmer and then we'll switch off the heat. And off the flame, I'm going to just squeeze some lime juice. This is absolutely the best part of the dish. Trust me guys, you have to make this recipe. It tastes very refreshing. Mix this. And all you need to do is now serve this. So guys, now you know how to make Peer Kangar Kutu, right? Really easy to make, very low on calories, very healthy and really refreshing. Do make this recipe. If you have enjoyed watching this recipe, then do click on the like button, share the recipe and subscribe to India Food Network. Until next time, it's Preeta signing off.